Hi, welcome to my next video. This time something a lot different than usual, but as you know I like DIY solutions to my work problems so I hope you will find this one interesting too. Because the old stopwatch I was using for doing anime storyboards finally broke, I decided it's time to make the animator stopwatch I was always planning. It's a special stopwatch used by animators because it has the seconds divided into 24 frames and it helps you decide the length of a cut when you are making a storyboard like this one. For example here on this storyboard the cut is 4 seconds and 12 frames long and because most of the animations are made in 24 frames per second this cut is 4.5 seconds long. Usually animators or animation directors were using stopwatches like this or an app version for their smartphones and even Hayao Miyazaki uses a stopwatch like this to measure his cuts. Because the stopwatches are kind of rare and the app is discontinued I think, I decided to make my own stopwatch using the parts I had in my house. I used a display that I recycled from an old VCR player, a cheap Arduino clone, two shift register chips and some additional parts like buttons and resistors. I'm using the shift register chips to drive the display using only three wires from the Arduino and the Arduino itself to power the whole thing, so I can just plug it to any USB outlet or a mobile battery. Ultimately this kind of stopwatch helps you to measure time while you are kind of imagining in your head the contents of the cut that needs to be drawn. So for example while pressing the button you imagine in your mind's eye the action. So the character runs, runs, runs and then stops and smiles. And then when you release the button you know how many seconds and frames this action needs. Okay, so after a lot of soldering, the stopwatch looks like this. I made it using two separate boards so I can reuse the display if I need to. The top board has the Arduino on it, soldered upside down, and two buttons on the top, one for making the stopwatch countdown while you press it, and one for changing the amount of frames per second. The bottom board has the display, I added a small roof over it so the numbers are easier to see, and the shift register chips I use to control the display. There are two of them so I can use all the display numbers and symbols that are there. If you want to learn how to use shift register chips to control the display, just search for a video on YouTube and you will find a lot of tutorials how to do it. The finished stopwatch looks like this and I can power it and modify its software using the USB right here. Ok so now for a little demonstration how the stopwatch works. The left numbers are the seconds and the right numbers are the frames, now it's in 24 frames per second mode. The stopwatch continues counting seconds and frames while you are pressing the button in front. And a new count is made each time you start pressing the button. Also you can change the amount of frames per second in which the count is displayed using the button in the back. For now I programmed it to use 6, 12, 24 or 30 frames per second. Also because you can power this stopwatch using a USB battery, I made it so the display goes into a sleep mode after a few seconds. I will be probably modifying the software as I need and if you are interested in the Arduino code I wrote, it's linked below. Ok so that's it for this video, I hope you liked it even though it's kind of different and it's a really weird video to end 2017. I wish you an awesome next year, I finished all the illustrations needed for the Tokyo Storyfronts book so I will be making some new stuff. As always feel free to comment, share and subscribe, see you in the next video, bye!